This is SmackDown, and what a night we have here for us, guys. I can't believe the match is for tonight. I gotta admit, this card has me excited too, Saxton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. The most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. Well, the Austrian anomaly. And many would say the toughest competitor in all of Europe. Beyond Europe, Saxton, Walter's on his way to dominating the entire globe. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion. I'll tell you, classical music has never sounded this frightening. Six foot four, nearly 300 pounds, bringing the hardest chops since Ric Flair to the table. He is so impressive, Walter. One of the most dominating individuals in the history of the company. And let me take this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know. Walter's sense of superiority has only been inflated by his Imperium cohorts. It's not a sense of superiority, Cole. Walter is superior. He just wants to remind people that the ring is a sacred place, and he's going to remind them in a very painful way. Cockiness or confidence, there's no doubt that Walter is militant in his quest. Brock Lesnar comes into this match, one of the most physically powerful superstars on the WWE roster. The man is an absolute freak of nature. Walter has made quite a name for himself. What is it, Corey, that has made Walter a worldwide sensation? Simple, Cole. His strikes. Even just watching him makes me wince. I can't imagine what it's like being on the receiving end of his offense. 
You know what they say, gentlemen. What do they say, Corey? What goes up must come crashing down. Fighting the beast back. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, just turn that around. Walter with good instincts there. Brought down. He turns it around. Shot to the back of the neck. Deconstructing the knee there. Oh, look at this. Raw power. From the top. Drop. No way. Brock going up top. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. This is just the unbelievable. Michael Cole takes shelter. Here comes the storm. F5. Oh, my. Lesnar's got this closed up. Cover. Two. He kicked out at two. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Lesnar is pissed off now. Lesnar doesn't get paid by the hour. He wanted this to be over seconds ago. Brock clearly has the advantage here, guys. Lesnar is calling the shots now. Got to find a way to get out of this. Are you kidding me? He's looking shaky at best now. He needs to get himself some room at the top. Through the air. And connects. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Caught with a punch. What a punch. Got that suplex. Making it look easy. Four. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Walter has lost any momentum here. Never would have predicted seeing Walter being in this state of disillusion. Go behind. Suplex City, population you. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Well, he is clearly looking to destroy his opponent right now. Headlock applied, toss their opponent. Six. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning Uranagi. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious. To oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. He's taking this to the floor now. He has got something destructive in his mind. Oh no, oh no! The storm is coming. I'm in shock. What a disaster. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? He's back into the ring. Ah, oh, Lesnar from behind. Brock Lesnar, perhaps setting up for a trifecta of Germans here. And Curry, you know what this means? And all expenses paid trip. German after German by Brock. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. Lesnar, five, coming through. The 
I think that finally closes the book. Two, three. It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. Especially considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. your hair up and square up and from Shimon, New Jersey Sonia Deville Byron I would love to see you interview Sonia Deville so she could punch you right in the mouth I wouldn't enjoy that at all Sonia Deville is as bad as they come And let me take this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up is gonna give me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. You have Charlotte Flair here, a talent who eats, sleeps, and breathes this business and does nothing but train endlessly. Yeah, you would think with all that training on the top of her inherent abilities and natural athleticism that Charlotte wouldn't have to rely on bullying tactics and mind games and shortcuts. So much then. Byron, our shoulders down. This could be it. Fending off a two count there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. And there's still a lot of game left here. Oh, and left him with these knee strikes. Big clothesline. Whoa. Heads out of the 
of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Down to the roundhouse. How does one contend with a superstar who is as ruthless in the ring as Sonya Deville? I think the only way to overcome Sonya's tenacity in the ring is to match it. You have to have that killer instinct when you're dealing with her. If you pull any punches, she'll run right over you. Three. Under the ropes down. Takedown, and now punches, right! Just relentless. Just look at DeVille go. Charlotte's gotta find a way to put her best foot forward here. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. There she goes. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. Right down on the knee. Dropping the knee. Three. Four. She hit her hard. Five. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Six. Seven. She's in danger of a count. I don't know if she cares. Sky high. Look out below! And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Sonya's lost any momentum here. Unleashing that killer instinct, matching Sonya's tenacity. This is how you deal with the villain. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. She's forced onto the defensive now. Six. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the let out. And back into the ring she goes. Right across the face. Kick to the stomach. German suplex. Is it enough here? Strong kick out. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Oh, signature big boot from Flair. Charlotte Flair proving that her superiority complex is well-deserved. Proving that Saxton's a geek who talks about mind games and shortcuts even when proof of the Queen's dominance is happening right in front of his eyes. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Figure four locked in. Charlotte gonna look for the bridge. To the figure eight. Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. Can she hang on? She won't let go. She's squeezing for dear life. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damn. Can she do it here? Pinfall there. Incredible. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Perched up top. Sonya up the ball. Soon we can be seeing a submission here. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? I think it's only a matter of time before the Queen tap. She's still got plenty of fight left in her. Trying to counter. Dropping shots. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Nice transition over the triangle armbar. Now the triangle armbar submission. Last submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she going to tap out? And the ropes. 
freight this one up. Great ring awareness there. Turns that back on Sonya. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. myself the same question. I have no idea. Sonya's getting up, but has no idea what's coming her way. Oh, what a chop. Not done yet. Natural selection. Does Charlotte Cap makes a cover? Two, three. Finally over. Here is your winner, Charlotte. That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. Oh, yeah, it's Charlotte standing victorious. All hail the queen. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. Especially considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 464 pounds, Richie Holland and Pete Dunne. If you looked up tag team wrestling in the dictionary, these two would be the definition. Absolute masters at the tag team craft. Damn. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. You know what, guys? Aside from my family, I can't think of two other people I'd rather spend Thanksgiving with. Uh in fact, I go so far as to say that you guys are like family to me. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. Taking it old school tonight with a little two-on-two -two tag team action. Doesn't get any more classic than this. You truly get the best of both worlds, and sometimes pairings you really didn't see coming. Hey, kind of like you and me, Corey. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, Saxton. Oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Boom! What a right! And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Uh, ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Oh, watch this display of power. He's tagging out. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Look at this. Boom. Nice. 
The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Tag made. Tag made. Uh-oh. Flashback. Yeah. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Looking for a high risk move. Take off. Lightning high. And shoulders are down. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. This could be a tipping point in this match. Partner tags in. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Up and over! Look at Jey Uso going top rope. Two. Here we go! What? And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Dunn turns that around. Don hooks him up. Two, and a power bomb. Three. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Hook up and backdrop suplex. Tag is registered. to the two count. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, did you hear that thud? Uh-oh, look at this. She just tossed the leg. Oh, that'll leave a mark. <laughs> That's going to sting. He's looking a little worried now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Capitalizes on Dunn's mistake. A humiliating slap. He's one step ahead there. Look at this. Snap suplex. Is it enough? The cover! Tagged in. He just punched him in the chest. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Straight impact on the throat. And Jay saw it coming. Tough position to be caught in here. Just launched. for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. Big match up here tonight, ready to go. Oh, look at from behind. Why did he come out here and ruin this thing? It's a message sent. A message that needed to be sent. 
Yeah, that guy should be suspended or fined. This is ridiculous. You're crazy. He's just doing what he needed to do. And how could he even go in this match? Oh, come on. He's not ready. The seven-foot behemoth diesel in action. Big Daddy Cool is one of the most menacing enforcers to ever step over the top rope. Diesel's tremendous size is only overshadowed by his athletic ability and long list of championship reigns. All of them fueled by diesel power. His size is certainly threatening on its own, but we also know Diesel will do whatever it takes to come out on top. And he's facing off against Rey Mysterio, a competitor who is known to bring the fight with a lot of heart. You find out real quick that Rey is tough to keep down. Mysterio shows no fear and has a larger shadow than his stature would determine. But there are a lot of people in the locker room who want to be the one to say, I brought down the biggest little man in WWE. Good grief, what a toss into the turnbuckle. So much can be said about Ray's ability to overcome obstacles, but Corey, if you had to boil it down to just one thing that sets Mysterio apart, what would that be? Speed. Mysterio maximizes his agility to evade disaster with the same precision as he does launching assaults. You have to strategize equally on both sides of the ball, so to speak, against Ray. Nice. Mysterio with great evasion. Nice arm drag. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right from the top. Whoa, what a landing. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. We'll slide back in the ring now. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Diesel. And another counter. He delivers the Bulldog. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Ray saw that coming. Coming next in the wheelhouse. Six one nine. And, and Ray now first splash. Now Ray needs to end this. And Ray from up high. So for Rey Mysterio, he grabs the victory here tonight. Wow, what a battle. I can't believe it, but we just witnessed Big Daddy Cool Diesel get stopped dead in his tracks. Sit up straight, Saxton. It's time to class up the joint. The sassy Southern Bell has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Saxton, you ought to get a woman like Lacey Evans to keep you in line. I'm good just the way I am, but I, I'll tell you what, her questionable personality traits aside, Lacey Evans has had some pretty incredible victories against top talent like Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. And... 
from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? Tegan Knox, the girl with the shiniest wizard, set for competition here tonight. Now, don't let the saccharine nickname fool you. Tegan Knox is an exceptional competitor and always comes ready to fight. Absolutely. You can even see that readiness in her eyes here. And with Lacey Evans, you have a superstar who seems more concerned with appearances than she does in-ring antics. But do not let that fool you. Lacey Evans is about as dangerous as they come with a mean streak to boot. Yeah, Lacey Evans is the picture of discipline in pinup model form. She's going up! Up high! Cross body! Cover here. And there's still plenty of fight left. Still too fresh. Boom! Slam! With authority. Tegan's hopes are waning. Yeah, Lacey's really remaining the aggressor here. You know, Cole, Tegan Knox is a well-liked superstar backstage, but don't let that fool you. She can get just as gritty and dangerous as the next superstar. Knox's kindness outside the ring and sportsmanship inside the ring has sometimes given her opponents a false sense of security. You can never let your guard down with a competitor like her. Oh, man. And Tegan escapes danger. Ah, oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Lacey's attack gets reversed. Roadhouse kick, man. Oh, Kick to the midsection, sunset flip, no! Oh, into a powerbomb! Tegan Knox with that fighting spirit, all channeled into that maneuver. She sent flying into the corner. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. Oh, no. You better make reservations at the local medical facility. A superplex! Just a relentless assault from Knox. Lacey has to find an opening and respond. Chance for her to get some distance. And this has got to be it. The ref not even getting a one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, blow to the bread basket. Knocks with a reversal. This is a bad position for her. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Follow away slam with the bridge. Stomping out. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Incoming splash. Tegan climbs. What's on her mind? Move at a breakneck pace. Snap headbutt. Oof. What a choke slam. Will that stop Lacey? Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. Kick to the body. Exclamation delivered by Knox. What a win for Knox. Here is your winner, Tegan Knox. 
She's got to be proud of this win. WWE Universe, acknowledge him. The head of the table has arrived, flanked by a special counsel, Paul Heyman. Reigns has dominated the entire WWE. And not just dominated physically, but now mentally as well. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by his special counsel, Paul Heyman. Representing the Usos from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Champion, Roman. cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline, giving his marching orders to his cousins, the Usos, and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. Especially considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. I guess uh, this means the conspiracy's continuing. They never stop with this guy. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! You know, Sammy Zayn was once known as the underdog from the underground. Yeah, then he became the coward from the underground. Yep, bite your tongue, Saxton. Sami yep. Zayn achieved incredible things in WWE. Yep, bite yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep, Cole gets it, Saxton, why don't you? Yep, he's being condescending. Yep. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. 
You know what, guys? Aside from my family, I can't think of two other people I'd rather spend Thanksgiving with. Uh, In fact, I go so far as to say that you guys are like family to me. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. Here's Roman Reigns, who has declared himself the tribal chief of WWE. Yeah, Reigns thinks only he goes for the cover. And there's a kick out at one. Likely just trying to sap out some energy with that cover. Kick to the cut. Had an answer for the big dog. And responds with a counter of their own. Targeting the leg there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. What a counter. We all know that Sammy has the ability to take flight in the ring and land some explosive aerial attacks. How do you counter that? You've got to ground Sammy. Keep him off the top rope. Bring him into the middle of the ring and take him down to the mat or target his legs and nullify his ability to climb the ropes. Whichever strategy you choose, the bottom line is you can... Will it be? Incredible match we are witnessing. Instinct. This is amazing. Just from a dead lift position. Sit out, powerball. And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. Range comes up short on that attack. feeling good about his performance tonight. Hey, Sami Zayn earned it. Call animal control. Someone just claimed Roman Reigns' yard here tonight.
formerly El Hijo del Fantasma. Now he is Santos Escobar. The leader of Legado del Fantasma, Escobar is a highly dangerous human being. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, after months of mysterious abductions and attacks in the NXT parking lot, nobody suspected El Hijo del Fantasma. El Hijo del Fantasma couldn't do that. Santos Escobar did it. Elite lucha skill, but proved that he's a mastermind too. Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wild reaching new heights under Escobar. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's yeah. nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more yeah. controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Fallaway slam! And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Suplex producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Stop after stop. Relentless. He's got him where he wants it from the power. Watch this. Northern lights. Oh, he's got him here, he's got him up. And no! Look at this, snap suplex. He's struggling a bit here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late... Ready for takeoff! Yes, 
Escobar turns it around. Put it in the corner now. Close line in the corner. Escobar looks lost and won't like what's coming. Oh, no. He's going to be caught here. Bad spot for him. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No tap out. Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Well, I kind of did too. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 266 pounds, L.A. And there's a superstar who truly believes that the entire WWE Universe revolves around them. It's got to be this talent right here. I absolutely cannot believe what a superiority complex this superstar has. It takes a lot more competitors than this one to make WWE go around. Yeah, but it only takes one superstar to be the center of a universe, Saxton. And you're looking at him right now. strikers this industry has ever known. He kicks like lightning. Yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura has a bad attitude to match. No, he doesn't. He just doesn't like you, Saxton. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the artist known as Shinsuke guys what kind of artist actually is Shinsuke Nakamura Nakamura makes art with his brutality and Byron he's the type of artist that thrills the WWE universe with everything he does he's like a Picasso in the ring Saxon wouldn't know art in an art museum Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And across the way, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, a striker whose reputation precedes him and who many superstars rightly fear. Yeah, when it comes to Nakamura, just one of his earth-shaking strikes could be all it takes for him to grab the win here tonight. Ooh, carefully measured knee strikes. And left him with these knee strikes. There he goes, right into the corner. Shinsuke is perched and take off! Oh, knee right to the spine. Laying in those shots and the 
corner. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest. The Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Reversal from Nakamura. Lands face first. Stomping. Ouch. Moved at the right time. He knows how to avoid contact. Slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Kinshasa. Oh, man. Celebration imminent for Nakamura. The cover. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision. I think we're going to see it, Corey. Thinking pays off. Shifts it back onto him. Coming. Uh oh, it's locked in the armbar. It's and hey, what's this? Letting him free? Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Then kick right to the gut. Oh, and that buys some time. Slide Buster with a sit out. Nasty. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Re record. of counter. Oof, nails the midsection. Shinsuke has him up. Landslide! Slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Kinshasa. Nakamura right on. Here it goes. Kinshasa. Celebration imminent for Nakamura. Two. And this one is over. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 521 pounds. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. You know what, guys? Aside from my family, I can't think of two other people I'd rather spend Thanksgiving with. In fact, 
I go so far as to say that you guys are like family to me. Uh. Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. A duo that always delivers when it comes to tag team action, and the WWE Universe is ready for it. And let me take this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up is gonna give me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. Tag team match underway. Bragging rights in the division are on the line. Highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. And another just non-stop aggression. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Playing tag for his partner. The switch here to Drew McIntyre. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. Producing a trampling, well-placed kick. while you can, everyone. Got the tag. Got the tag. Falcon arrow. Striking with the knee drop. So precise. this one just yet. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, right to the throat. His shoulders are down. Denying a two count there. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Hey, right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. Boom, oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Reaches his partner for the tag. T 
Tops. Nasty knee. Tag made. He's been placed in the corner now. He's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He gets set down to the floor. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, God. Staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, leg lariat, and he goes for the pin. One, two, three. Raise the roof. He's got the victory. Here are your winners, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. And these two really do make the they say when you know, you know, and I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.